everybody, it's Adele and welcome to my channel Sew for Serenity where I talk to you about my sewing journey, my love for patterns, fabrics and all things sewing related. So if that's something that sounds of interest of you then keep on watching. Welcome back to all my regular viewers and if you're new here I hope you like what you see and consider subscribing. So today's vlog is another one of my fabric store tours and I actually said it without getting it wrong. <laughs> um, so yeah, so as I promised on uh, today, which is Saturday, I went to the wonderful Crafty So and So, which is in Leicester. And this is a online store which also runs sewing workshops and it's an online fabric store and haberdashery ran by the lovely Freya and Sarah. They also make their own patterns, handmade wardrobe, which have got some fabulous patterns. Now, I think they opened the store in 2015 and in 2017 started making their own patterns. Um, and they are just such lovely ladies. They're also one of the sponsors for um, mine and crystals from my social threads um, sewing challenge for April, which is ha hashtag selfless sew April. And they, as I say, are one of the sponsors, which is absolutely fantastic and been very generous and are offering prizes and it's more than one. So thank you so much. And um, they are an online store, as I say, however, they do have an open day. And they said once a month they try and do it where you basically, if you subscribe to their newsletter, they email you and you revert, reserve a slot to go along and have a look around their shop. So obviously, if it being only an hour away in Leicester for me, I jumped at the chance when they um, sent their last email. So I do have a path. They they also so they also um, make their own patterns. I think it is Freya that creates the patterns, um, and it's handmade wardrobe is their brand, and they do quite a lot of different patterns, which are really lovely. And I've got their t-shirt pattern, which I can't remember the name of, but I'll insert a photograph. I haven't made it yet, but I really want to. It's got this beautiful twist design or tie design, which just is quite unusual. So I really want to make that. It's on my list of um, items that I want to make, my very long list. Um, so yeah, so today is Saturday and I booked my slot for 11.30 on um, today and off I went to Leicester today and the great thing is that there's on-street on parking there. I was a bit worried it being Leicester City Centre um, but I was able to get on-street parking for a pound for a couple of hours which I thought was fantastic um, and yeah, I was able to go into the shop. So um i didn't set myself a budget which was a little bit dangerous i had looked on the website before to try and think right let's go with something in mind <laughs> um and i did get those fabrics but then i also got other, other couple of fabrics so as as normal i have taken some video footage of me going to the shop so it's not got a shop front you actually go in through some gates and it's um within some office buildings but they're quite nice and um, when i say office buildings they're more like um it's all brick and quite quaint it's not like um you know an industrial style um office new new office block um there's me and another lady there um she's watching hello um, and they take she escorted us up to the shop um, talked us through um, you know where all the stock was and everything and then I kind of did some filming and asked if it was okay if I did some filming um, and they were really lovely Laura like, made me a cup of tea which I've got a photograph of me drinking the cup of tea there um, so I was able to like drink my tea have a potter around the shop have a chat obviously they know who I am now because I um, have been speaking to them about the challenge and they know my Sofa Serenity um, YouTube channel and Instagram handle so obviously when I introduced myself they knew who it was so that was really lovely and um, we were just chatting about the challenge chatting about sewing I've also expressed some interest in some um, on some courses that they do or workshops that they're doing they are doing a pattern block create your own pattern bodice block and trouser block um, workshop which I've expressed an interest in um, where basically they create a block for you and then tell you how to 
and show you how to basically draft your own patterns really in respect of putting gatherings or whatever design features you want to add to that block so i'm really interested to see if that's something a that i like doing um so yeah so that's coming june or july and i'm really up for going on that i don't know how much it is yet um but yeah i've expressed an interest and obviously i will vlog about it <laughs> and let you know what i thought of it so that's exciting as well um so um i'll put the footage of the um store now and then i'll talk you through my purchases so when you first come in they've got a little rack of um children's clothes that are made up which i love when they do that um because you really get to see the patterns a lot of lady McElroy on the side and then this is the chambray and the denim and the cord um and they had some jewelry which was really cute as well seam ripper jewelry i love that and then they had all like little haberdashery items little embroidery items lots of fat quarters ribbons etc and then these are some of their patterns that they had they had this really cool mug start as you mean to sew on which i loved and that's what they made my cup of tea in which was absolutely brilliant um and then these are all the sweatshirting and stretch jerseys absolutely beautiful um I always really wanted to start looking at them all while I was filming, but I was keen to try and get some good footage for you guys this time. Lots of beautiful fabrics. Fabrics that I'd seen on the website that I'd liked, but actually when I saw them in person, I really liked them and it actually made me purchase. That was just some remnants there. And then here they had all of their patterns made up. And there's a couple of patterns on here um, that, that aren't released yet they're re-releasing one of them and um, a new pattern that they'd got on there as well um, which both of them I really like so I can't wait for those to come out and I will be getting them and then these are all the craft cottons which were lovely as well and then threads and then these were lycras and then some of these were Lady McElroy again it's just a lovely little kind of gallery really um i think i took a few little photos of a couple of the items and then i also got a photo with i've been quite brave so i also had a photo with sarah and freya and they were lovely so yeah and they were just so chatty and welcoming oh and we just talked about sewing for ages and basically they had to shove me out the door really <laughs> think um but yeah i'm definitely keen to go on their um their workshops they have socials as well which i'm really interested in and i think she talked about some kind of summer sewing event as well which will be talked about soon so if you're interested in those types of things and you're not too far away from leicester um then check out their website and i'll link all that in the in in the show notes below so what you're probably wanting to know is what i purchased right so here we go i'm just going to get the receipt up actually on my um, phone so I can tell you how much everything was because I know you like to know how much I've spent as long as my partner doesn't watch <laughs> so the first thing that I purchased was what I went in there for so I wanted this strawberry jersey which is a poppy um yeah by poppy design um 100% um organic cotton and it's this beautiful mint green with daisies and strawberries i've got the wrong way around there we go and i got half a meter of that and it was seven pounds for half a meter alice i want to make her a little t-shirt short sleeve t-shirt and some kind of cut off capri um style leggings just above the ankle i think they were really cute for holiday we're going away to croatia for for my honeymoon um we're taking the baby with us <laughs> but we wouldn't want to be without her for a week um and my older children will be with their dad so um yeah that she needs some kind of nice summery clothes for to take with her so, that's, so these, these these items i had seen on the website and had wanted um i'd not seen them anywhere else and it's pointel which is basically it reminds me of what um some of the kids vests are made out of um and it's this beautiful pointel jersey which has got this kind of perforated perforated like pattern of of diamonds in it um 
and it's got a white background stretchy and then this one had leopard print on it as well which we know i love leopard print i got half a meter of that again i think that was seven pounds at half a meter and i got that to make alice a little outfit probably again shorts and um shorts or or little leggings and, and, a, and a, a top maybe even a vest top for the summer and then because i want to be matchy matchy they did it in grey <laughs> so i got myself the grey version so again you can see the the um little perforated design and nice and stretchy and then it's got leopard print so i got myself a meter of this and i'm just going to make myself um a t-shirt in this probably not going to go for the leg well haven't got enough for leggings um but yeah and then me and alice can be matchy matchy in our little pontel pontel that's how you say it um jersey tops <laughs> and yeah that, i think that's really nice i hadn't seen that anywhere else i've not seen that anywhere else anywhere so yeah i just thought it was really lovely i just get my email back up again um so yeah they were they were seven seven pound per half meter so 14 pounds for a meter that was the next one that i got was um a couple of remnant pieces and the first one where well, they had 10 percent off their remnants as well and this was a lady mcelroy or McElroy, however you want to say it, um, cotton lawn in this beautiful um, flower print. And it's got this big flower on it in the mustard with the turquoises, which is so my colours. Um, yes, yeah, so I've got a metre of that, and that was £10.80, which obviously for a lady McElroy is very reasonable. So yeah, I'm going to make a blouse or something like for the, in that did say I wasn't going to buy any cotton lawn but the designs are just too pretty not to go with it <laughs> and then the other piece that I got was a pop a viscose poplin and this was uh 1.2 meters in this beautiful paisley print but with these boxes all over it which I just thought was really lovely beautiful drape and this was £6.30 for 1.2 metres. Again, that's going to make a lovely top blouse shirt or something along them lines for the summer. So that was that. And then the next item that I bought was this wooden banner embroidery kit, which was reduced to £6. And... It's a wooden shield shape and you've got the needles and everything and the thread, well not thread, it's like wool to do the design. And I just thought that was a lovely little bit of embroidery. I've not done embroidery before, I've obviously got the kits for it because I've talked about that before. Um, but yeah, and it's got the piece of string to hang on. I just thought it'd be a really nice decoration for in the sewing room and a step into embroidery, quite a simple embroidery. I might even see if uh, if Isabel wants to do that because it might be quite good for her to do. So that was my craft piece. And then my final piece, which is what kind of made me break the bank a little bit, was some sweatshirt in that I purchased. Now, I had seen this on the website and liked it, but when I actually saw it in the flesh, it it I had to have it. I just... <laughs> to have it and um, i've got one and a half meters and it's this denim denim colored or denim effect sweatshirting with these peach flowers with little turquoise green and it's um brushed back lovely and soft fantasy flowers is the make never heard of it before but yeah i really liked that and I purchased it. <laughs> so that cost me £25.50 for a metre and a half. So that kind of pushed my budget up. So I think I spent about £70 in total. Um, yeah, which was more than I really wanted to. I wanted to spend about 40 to 50 So I went over budget. But that was because of this, so which I didn't need. Um, all in all, I was really, really impressed with the shop. I didn't really know what to expect with it not being an actual shop and it being kind of a workshop. It's possibly, I mean, all of the sewing tours that I've done, everyone's been really, really friendly. But this one is one of my favourites. 
Um, I feel like I'll be going back there a lot. I really liked what they had to say about their um, presence in the sewing community, you know, doing socials and things like that. They were just really welcoming and just made me feel really welcome, which, yeah, I, I loved it. So um, thank you so much, Sarah and, and Freya, if you're watching. I hope you are. I really enjoyed my visit. One of the things that I really loved about your store was that you had fabrics I hadn't seen anywhere before. This sweatshirting, the Pontel with the leopard print. I had seen the Pontel, Pontel, I'm probably killing this, but the Pontel before, but I hadn't seen it with the leopard print on and I just love leopard print. So um, yeah, I thought it was really, really lovely and I will definitely be checking out the website a lot more to see what new stuff you have in stock. So yeah, another shop that I loved and can tick off my um, sewing room so sew, sewing store tour list so i hope you've enjoyed my little tour of the store and um, we'll visit their online shop because you can get all of these fabrics online and subscribe to their newsletter so you can hear about these um great events workshops that they put on and um yeah i hope you've enjoyed it so please like this vlog if you've liked it if you don't subscribe already please consider subscribing and if you want to support my channel further um you can also always buy me a coffee on with through my coffee Kofi account which all the details are below but as i always say you're much more important than any of that please just as long as you get something out of this vlog that's all that matters to me so that's all for me for now um happy sewing and i'll see you soon bye